Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Unreserved Con Che. If you're new, bienvenido. My name is Shayla, and this is a place where we talk about what the people are talking about. Sometimes we talk about music, sports, news, life things. Sometimes we even talk about politics. Yes, I know some of y'all hate it, but it's important. Today's episode, we are going to talk about sports, women's basketball to be specific. If you are not interested in sports whatsoever, do not worry because... Yes, we're going to talk about sports, but really we're going to talk about the deeper... We're going to talk about people still being misogynistic and racist and how it all, you know, it's all one thing. So even if you don't watch women's basketball, still t- stay tuned because it's just... Just stay tuned. I'm wearing purple in honor of LSU. I'm super happy that they won and I wish them the best of luck. I hope... Angel Reese and all the rest of the team have fun. Flage, I love you, girl. You, you really the main one that like brought me in when I saw your TikToks and your music. I'm like, oh yeah, this is my team. Um, but now I'm rambling. Today we're gonna focus on how this win really brought out people's true colors. They were mad for they were mad at Angel Reese because she did exactly what Caitlyn. Clark did, but because Caitlin Clark is white and Angel Reese and the other beautiful ladies um, on the team are not white, there are some white players, but like the main players on the field. History was made on Sunday, and instead of people focusing on that, on history being made in the LSU versus Iowa game, LSU won their first ever national um, championship game or title, whatever you want to call it. And people, instead of celebrating that, people took the last five seconds of the game and ran with it. That's all they're talking about. And whether you want to believe it or not, racism is still very much prevalent. Maybe where you live, it might not be as obvious, but racism is still very much embedded into every single sector of our of our life, okay? Like, just simple things of where I'm from, we have a McDonald's every corner, Taco Bell, you know, the fast food, name a fast food restaurant, we got it, okay? Yet, when I want something, let's say, healthy, a, a, a Panera, or something as simple as a Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, girl, who gonna have a Trader Joe's in Patterson? No, I gotta drive, like, 20 minutes to go get healthy food, because apparently people that are from urban areas don't deserve to eat healthy foods. But that's neither here nor there. Today, like I said, we're going to talk about how instead of people focusing on LSU making history, they're taking the last five seconds of a very important game and to bash a young woman for doing something that wasn't really nothing. Okay, let's get into it. So before the final game even started, um, LSU won against Virginia, so they advanced to the the final game. South Carolina and uh, Iowa were in the semifinal games, and unfortunately they lost. They had had a great season. I think they lost only one game in the entire season. So it was like, damn, out of all these games, we're going to lose this one. Like, it sucks, right? So they were crying. They were upset. And no one felt bad for South Carolina. In the game, in that game, Caitlin Clark, which is Iowa's best player, um, you know, she did some shady stuff. She like went like this to Raven, right? She's like, I don't need to guard her, like, ba 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 type of thing. She did like, you can't see me, and everyone praised her, and it was laughy and ha ha ha, he he he. Everything was great, right? And no one was like, no one bashed Caitlin Clark for doing what she does because. Number one, she is an amazing player. She's a scorer. Like, she is that girl. Um, so no one said anything, right? Like, it was fine. It was... People laughed when she did it. So then fast forward, like I said, South Carolina loses. Iowa advances to go against LSU. Um, okay, so LSU is doing good. And it is the last five seconds of the game. And it's kind of like... LSU was up by a lot. The final score was the final score was 102 LSU and Iowa had a score of 85. So you kind of knew like we're already winning because it's like five seconds and there's only so many shots you can make, right? Well, people were mad because 
Angel Reese, who is one of the LSU's main players, whatever, did exactly what Caitlyn did to South Carolina. She did the you can't see me and she was doing like ring me, right? Because they had just won. They made history, right? They're going to be the first team to ever win a national championship for the team. But instead of people focusing focusing on this amazing thing that she she and her team were able to accomplish, they were mad because she did this, the same thing that Caitlyn did. And while people praise Caitlyn for it, they're bashing Angel Reese. And it's just like, huh? Cue the music. So here's the thing. It's so clear that people are just being racist. The and the this makes me so mad. And even I forgot to mention this. Caitlin, prior to that game against South Carolina, they won. Um, they won against. I forgot what was the name of the team, but she did this to Haley Van Leith. You're down 15 points. Shut up. Like, oh my God, girl. And no one said, like, it wasn't a big deal, right? Um, I guess she was, like, talking to to um, to um Caitlyn because she did something. Maybe she turned the ball over or whatever. And she was like, shut up. You only got 15 points. And nobody made a big deal out of that. Okay, but then Angel Reese literally just gave Caitlyn a taste of her own medicine and people were going bananas. And these men, right, these white men were like calling Angel Reese a classless, calling Angel Reese classless, an idiot. The founder of Barstool Sports said, called her, quote, classless piece of shit. Sir, where were you when Caitlyn did this? You ain't call her a peaceless, a, a piece of shit. That is just so annoying. And, and it's so clear that it is racist, right? People are trying to say, oh, but when Caitlyn did it, she didn't this. Or when Caitlyn, Caitlyn literally told a player, shut up, you only got 15 points. That is disrespectful. And no one said, you ain't call her a piece of shit. You ain't call her an idiot. But because Angel Reese did it, now it's a problem. And it's, it's it, it makes me so mad because number one, it just makes me. This is the a uh, a uh, uh, a founder of a major media sports thing. So it's like you shouldn't even like let that sink in, okay? Let that sink in. The founder of Barstool Sports called Angel Reese a classless piece of shit for doing exactly the same thing that Caitlin Clark did. What's the difference? Angel Reese is back and Caitlin Clark isn't. Okay? And all the people that said these ridiculous things are all white men. And it's like men trash talk all the time in the NBA, right? Draymond Green did the same thing to, to Westbrook. And yes, people were like, oh, that's disrespectful. But no one was calling, you know, like no one said anything about it. It's normal. Men trash talk all the time on, in the NBA. But are women not allowed to show emotion? Well, because we're women, we need to just stay shut. The women of color, but specifically black women, are always expected to just suck up their emotions, right? Like we're held to a different standard. It's like, oh, well, like, why can't Caitlin Clark do this? But women, but... Angel Reese can't, right? Like, why are we held to a different standard? Why do I have to suck up my emotions? Why can't I stick up for my girl Raven, who Caitlin Clark waved off? Like, oh, you can't shoot. You're not better than me. Like, I don't got to be worried about you. So why can't Angel Reese do the same thing to Caitlin? Okay, we're they're both... They're both, if you're in, uh, playing in a D1 team, that's like the same thing of people that trash talk NBA players that are on the bench. For you to even get to that place means that you're a good player. So whether you're on the court or sitting, whatever, you should never be disrespecting people, right? And Angel Reese, I'm going to play the clip. She said she don't take disrespect lightly. So whether Caitlyn did it to her or not, she did it to her people. Oh, I was waiting. <laughs> were you sitting I tell you, I was waiting. I was waiting. <laughs> Me? At what point were you waiting to pull out this? Me? Kind of a Caitlyn Clark. Caitlyn Clark is a hell of a player. Incredible. Player, for sure. But I don't take disrespect lightly. And she disrespected Alexis. And my girls, 
South Carolina, they still my SEC girls too. They y'all not gonna disrespect them either. So I had, a, I mean, I wanted to pick her pocket, but I, I had a moment at the end of the game, and that was just I was in my bag. I was in my moment. Yeah. <laughs> at the end of the day, I feel like the media, the people are making a bigger deal out of it than they are, right? Like they're fine with it. They understand that, but you know. At the end of the day, this is entertainment. If the game was boring, no one would watch. And this was the the finals was I think the they like broke the record for the amount of people that were um in attendance, which is great for the sport, right? But then you have people that are trashing Angel Reese, calling her a piece of shit. And that's when things that's like when shit ain't funny. That's like shit ain't funny because now you're being racist, you're being rude, and you're being disrespectful. And I this has nothing to do with Caitlin Clark because she can't control her fans right but again this is when you know if you're an ally this is your chance to speak up right like i thank you for the people that are sticking up for me but i don't appreciate the racist comments right if you're an ally this is your time to shine you can't control what they say but just let people know that that racist ish is not gonna fly right like women of color are always expected to suck up their emotions they're like oh well we can't be mad. We can't do the same thing. It's like, oh, when well, you get a taste of your own medicine, it's like, I, I just don't understand it. And it's, it's disgusting. Like it, even like I was, I first started, I first got into like men basketball because of the Draymond Green and Jordan Poole situation. And, um, I was like trying to get tickets to go see the game and the tickets are out of this world. Right. But then I got into the WNBA and, and I'm like, just the stark difference of price tickets to go see a game is insane. Women, like, they're doing the same exact thing that men are, but we don't get paid the same, which I'm not surprised because this is just how the world is. But things need to change. Things need to change. The fact that to a WNBA game, the, ticker, the tickets are cheaper means that these women are not getting paid the same that, the same as NBA players. But... The WNBA players are doing the same thing that the NBA players are doing. The only difference is that, that they're girls and these people are men. Like, huh? So I'm going to need you to understand that women of color have emotions. Black women are able to show their emotions. And if you don't like it, that is your problem. We cannot hold women of color to different standards. If you don't like these things, then you need to trash talk everybody. Women of color, but specifically black women are always expected to suck up their emotions or just deal with the disrespect. No one is saying that Caitlin Clark can't do what she did, but then how come we can't do what we want to do, right? Why can't, why is Caitlin Clark praised for her John Cena, you can't see me, but then Angel Reese is, is bashed for doing the same thing. Why can't Angel... When you win a national championship, your emotions are through the roof. Like, that's like, yes, I'm going to be happy. Yes, I am going to celebrate. Like, ring her, because she just won. For you to get to that point, whether you like it or not, people are going to say, well, LSU had an easy bracket, whatever. Okay, that's fine. It is what it is. Maybe you try to work out and figure out how you can get an easy bracket. Like, at the end of the day... They won plenty of games to get where they are. So when you do reach that moment to where I win, I won. Like, why can I be happy? Why can I show emotions? Why does she need to be bashed for doing, for being happy? Like, God forbid I do something. It's a problem. Like, women of color are just always bashed for everything they do. All the time. When white people do it, it's like, oh, it's funny. It's like all jokes. It's <laughs> but then when a woman of color does it, it's like, oh, that's ghetto. You're doing too much. Why are you so aggressive? Why are you so this? And it's just so, it's such clear racism. And it just makes me mad because I, thankfully you can tell Angel Reese and Flage and Poole and all of these amazing women that are on the team Thankfully, they're like, girl, is I'm like, better. It's just sliding off me. I ain't pressed about it. You say what you say. Thankfully, you got to be thick skinned to be, you know, to be able to survive that. Because if you let, I went on one of their TikToks and the comments on there are just so disrespectful. And I do want to say Caitlin Clark is an amazing player. She deserves all the praise. She's going to do amazing things. Okay. 
for, you know, when she goes to the WNBA, whatever, she's going to do great things. But I just need you to keep the same energy to all my beautiful women of color that are also doing the same thing. But just because white people do it, it's seen as better. It's be more like, girl, shut up. Not you, Caitlin, but like just people. Like people are just so racist. It gets me mad. But anyways, the moral of the story is keep being you. You will be able to succeed in whatever you do. Okay, don't let people try to force you to conform into a box that you don't belong to. Like, yes, Angel Reese is who she is and she acts the way she does and she likes her music. And just because you may not like it doesn't mean that you're any better. Just because your skin might be lighter doesn't mean that you're any better than somebody else that is darker skin. Like, mind your business. Um... And yeah, that's the end. I'm going to end it on a happy note and let Angel Reese do the honors. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I mean, all year I was critiqued about who I was. Nobody, I don't, yeah, 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 the narrative, I don't fit the narrative. I don't fit in the box that y'all want me to be in. I'm too hood. I'm too ghetto. Y'all told me that all year. But when other people do it, y'all don't say nothing. So this was for the girls that look like me, that gonna, that's gonna speak up on what they, they believe in. It's unapologetically you. And that's what I did it for tonight. This was for the more, it was, it was bigger than me tonight. It was bigger than me. Twitter is gonna go in a rage every time. And I mean, I'm, I'm happy. I feel like I've grown, helped grow women's basketball this year. I'm super happy and excited. So I'm looking forward to celebrating in the next season. And we will leave it on that note. Always be you. Don't try to conform into what other people want you to be. You are you and you will succeed being you because there's only so long you can try to act like you're somebody else. Okay, so be you. You will succeed in whatever it is that you are destined to be. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to give it a big thumb, thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and share it to anyone that you think might enjoy this video. Bye.